Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I'm going to be making an insert for my planner. So I'm going to be making a wellness page for my planner, kind of an encouraging page. I have a few papers pulled out from Paper House Productions, and I have one of my favorite sticker books, which is the Life Organized Shauna Klingerman Inspirational Sticker Book. So fun and full of just lots of really useful pieces. So my plan is to work with this and to create a page that is both inspiring and gives me a chance to track some self-care things. So I will put you on fast forward. Everything I use, I will link down below. Otherwise, let's go. All right, let's get started. I'm going to cut this down to seven inches wide and nine and a quarter inches tall. I'm actually going to use two different sheets of paper. Not sure that they totally relate to each other, but that's okay. They both bring me a little bit of happiness, and so I'll be glad to have them in my planner. I love making these custom pages for my planner. And truthfully, that's one of the reasons I love the Happy Planner because it's so easy to add in additional pages that you can create yourself or use from other planners. Um, you can also do the same thing in a spiral bound planner. If you get the correct punch that punches for a spiral bound planner, you could also just tape in extra pages and that will work too. All right, I have my pages back to back just like I want. I'm gonna use my Happy Planner Punch to punch in the disc holes. And now we are ready for the fun part, which is the decorating. The plan for the front of this page is to have a section where I can put a meaningful quote or a verse, something that is kind of sticking out to me maybe for that week or that month. And so I'm going to create a little cluster of elements where that can live. And I'm starting by cutting apart this color splash sheet. And I love that watercolor effect, very soft, and it goes with that background. It's just a gorgeous piece of paper, the beautiful sunrise or sunset over the ocean. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm looking through this sticker book all by Shauna Klingerman, which is just right up my alley. I love her colors. I love her vibe. Just absolutely loving that. And I'm picking up stickers that I like and kind of just holding onto them on my finger and on the side of my desk. I need to get like a piece of wax paper probably as I do these projects so that I can stick them down but I just end up sticking them all over the place. So I'm layering two cards that color splash card and then this is just a lined journaling card that I picked up from scrapbook.com um, so I think it'll be a great place for a quote or a verse to live. And I'm going to put them in the bottom right hand corner so I don't cover up any of that sunset adding in simply amazing and then the world is your oyster sticker and I'm going to add in some little floral pieces that are in those pinks that can just kind of nestle in behind the sticker. So I've been playing with stickers a lot lately. If you've been hanging out over on Instagram, you've probably seen me do that or in some of my videos over here. I think they are such a fun way to practice layering because you can just change them around. You can move it. It's just a fun way to practice. All right. Now taking my attention to the back where it is going to be a bit more of a functional page. But first, rainbows, because, you know, you got to have rainbows, especially me. I love me some rainbows. So I love this faux washi tape um, down here at the bottom. And that'll kind of set the tone for rainbows for this page. And I'm going to be looking for a series of boxes. Now, here's the plan for this sheet. Once I'm done, I'm going to laminate the whole sheet um, so that it's protected. And then I will be able to write on top of it with a wet erase marker. The reason I use the wet erase marker is so that doesn't um, accidentally rub off in my planner. I'll actually have to use like a baby wipe or something. So that way I can change out the verse or the quote that I put on the front of this page and the things that I am tracking here on the back, I can also change out. I can move around. So the box that is going to be in the upper left, that's going to be my list of um, kind of self-care things that make me happy list. And that kind of rotates and it can be little things like taking a a walk outside, having an extra cup of coffee, um, getting some cuddle time in with the kids before they go to bed, watching a cartoon together. That's the plan. And just to kind of keep a running list, kind of a self-care list. Um, on the long column on the left, it says the best is yet to come. And that's going to be my list of things to look forward to. And that really has a lot to do with just my mental health, um, making sure that instead of getting bogged down in the present, 
present in a to-do list that I am keeping in mind that there is so much to look forward to in the near and far future. And so I think it's a good idea to kind of keep a list. And for me, that's going to be some of the trips we have planned this summer, some upcoming events that are exciting for our family, that kind of thing. Thing. So that's what I'll keep there. Now I'm making two other sections on the back where I can write and I'm going to mat one of them with this beautiful watercolor piece. And this is the point where I'm deciding I'm not really liking this particular sticker. Then I tore it. So that pretty much solved that problem. That one was going to be done. So I'll pick up a pink box instead, which I like because I had the rainbows there at the bottom and then everything else was looking very blue and green. So it was nice to pick that up. All right, this is a tracker, a habit tracker. That's gonna be at the bottom. I'm planning to track exercise and water. So I will have those towards the bottom here. I'm gonna put one to start off with. And it says start today, which will be my water one. And then later on, you'll see I'll add this. I'll add um, the exercise tracker later. All right, so now I've pulled out a sticker that says right here, right now. And in this section, that's where I'm going to write my exercise plan for the week. Just um, what days I plan to run, what days I plan to do some cross training, that type of thing. On the top, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to write there. I found this great quote lettered by Shauna that says, be what you were made to be, which I think is lovely. And then of course this rainbow sticker, which I was all about and wanted to include for sure. But I'm gonna end up layering it because I didn't want it to be an area that wasn't functional because like I said, the back was really supposed to be functional. So I have my quote sticker. Now I'm looking for what I could possibly layer, kind of auditioning some different pieces. The great thing about using one of these sticker books to work on a page like this is that it's all meant to go together. So you can really easily mix and match different pieces from different sections and um, you can create a page that really feels cohesive, um, which I enjoy. All right, I did find this box and the pink of course calls my name. So I'm going to add that in just layered ever so slightly and then look for other pieces that I might be able to add in. You can see a lot of times I'll pick up stickers, kind of audition them and then put them back. Um, again, another fun part about stickers, I decide I should probably go ahead and adhere this down while I'm sure I know where I want it to go. And then it'll be time to start auditioning stickers again. All right, I love this one that says love and bringing in a little bit more blue. And now I'm trying to find one that will go in the middle section. Here's my second habit tracker. This will be for exercise. And I find a little banner that says, enjoy this because I really do enjoy exercising. It doesn't feel like it at five in the morning when I wake up um, and it's time to do the exercise. That's not my first thought is this is gonna be so fun, but I do know it makes me feel better. So I wanna focus on enjoying that. Okay, you can see I'm kind of auditioning what can go where. I need something right there in the middle to kind of break up. But then I see this piece that says just breathe and it's on clear sticker paper. So it's not gonna work right there, but it will work on the front here. So I'm just adding that in one last second just for that um, kind of serene feeling that I have on the front of that. I see another rainbow sticker. So you know I'm not about to pass that up. I will add that in my little take it easy or my happy list up there. And then my last sticker that I find is this one that says this life is pretty awesome. And that's actually going to do it for the stickers on this page. I'm gonna grab my Tombow lettering pen and fill in a few things that will be the same each week. So I'm adding water right there. I'll add exercise in the other one. And then in that pink box, I'm going to write the word focus because I decided that's gonna be where I write my focus for the week. Again, I'm gonna laminate this. I'll be able to use uh, wet erase markers on the top and um, reuse it over and over in my planner. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. A special shout out to my YouTube members. Um, thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you are interested in finding out more about YouTube membership or the special perks that they receive, make sure to click that join button. I have linked all the supplies down below and don't forget to use my code for Paper House Productions. That will save you an extra percentage off. All right, I hope you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative. <music>